Welcome back to my channel. Now before I go in on the review, I just wanted to give you guys a little update for those of you who are regulars on my channel about the um, Sims videos. One of my subscribers had asked me, where have you been? Where are the videos? Well, I'll go into a little explanation really quick. Where have the videos been? Well, um, I was going to be an occasional YouTuber. Well, as you, most of you know from my um, personal Twitter, I am a part-time YouTuber. I don't do this full-time. Um, I don't get paid for doing these videos because I don't really want to do that. It's just, just for fun for me. And I have been taking, a, you know, you know, um, I'm not really on a schedule doing this. It's just something that I like to do part-time because as you all know, well, you guys don't really know, but, um, I guess. So, uh, my life is, if you guys have seen, um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch during her last season, where she, um, her life was all out of balance, sometimes I feel like my life is like that because I have, like, YouTube and Sistagram and my regular life, and, um, I have a little job, and it's what I do, and, and also I'm trying to write a book, which I haven't really been writing that much and i'm um, trying to get my license too but um i haven't really been because i procrastinate a lot and i'm just trying to get all that together so if you, that's if that's the, that's the reason why i've really been making videos just trying i'm trying to get my um personal life together so i'm sorry you guys and i'm sorry for rambling so um if hopefully you guys are still gonna stick around for the mob wise review which is coming up right now everyone if you have stuck around since um my little blunder of an intro thank you so uh this is mob wife season six episode episode nine cut both ways so um we first are at drita's house uh, she feels like she is in a good place right now but i feel like we are back in some season one shiz drita is showing um her daughter giselle um, her book that she just printed out. Um, I think it's really awesome that she's writing a book, but um, it kind of feels like, uh, in a way, Karen in season one she said she was writing a book too. But hey, everybody's life is different, so we'll never we'll we'll see what because um, they're. Um, I mean, hello, they're um, Karen's dad was in the mob and Drita's husband was in the mob because there's. Their, their books are not going to be the same. So, and then we go to Renee's house. She loves that her son is growing as a man, but he keeps getting tickets. Now, did you? I know you guys saw the episode. Of course. He got a ticket for peeing in public. Like, who gets a ticket for doing that? Like, come on now. Really? And co coincidentally, today I saw a man doing that today. Really? In public. I know men think that nature is their bathroom, but you really just need to go, go to a McDonald's somewhere or a Burger King or a restaurant or anywhere or a Walmart or wherever and just, just go find a bathroom. Just go. But anyways, um, and then we see Brit, yeah, I'm just calling her Brit now, shopping in, um, in a store and Brittany's trying to move on with her friendship with Karen and Brittany says, she wasn't going to invest, invite investigators, not investigators, instigators like Renee and Carla and yada yada yada. This Brittany girl, Brittany, Brit, stupid girl, whatever you want to call her. And I'm just so over her. And Karen says she's not bringing up many men who starting shiz. Marissa, hmm. Oh yeah, Karen said, Karen. Didn't she write a book first, but I already had mentioned that earlier. Brittany, Brit needs to keep to her. Brit needs to keep her, excuse me, keep her info to herself. Sorry, new girl. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I get really thirsty doing these reviews. Anyways, I think that, I think my computer oh sorry uh, 
Oh, sorry guys. I think that I think it is really sweet that they remember her before the commercial break. Like they did this. I, I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen the little uh, video that they had, like right after she passed away. The little video, the little um, what they call it? I do them myself, so I should know what they're called. Slideshows um, of her little picture slideshow. That was very sweet before the commercial break. And then it comes back the commercials and then big Ange and you know she is still she was pissed off at Neil and she said the p flowers were very ugly and Neil said she got the lack of communication and then she, and then she said to Neil he got lack of paying the bills he's right and she let him in and then the ladies are playing this game about she game by line and Renee said this not me by line is about who got the bigger balls no laughing please and then marissa comes and they all sit down and says it was all rumors truce you guys make truces oh you guys make truces and go back to them don't make no sense to me big Ange and neil uh, so big Ange is at the hospital now and they're talking about um her lawn and car passing by sorry okay a robot is going to do the surgery she looked terrified terrified Renee is taking up dance classes. I don't trust nobody. I understand how Renee feels because, not because of her mob life, because I don't live that life, but just from a regular life. Don't you, it's hard to trust people. Don't you guys agree? And then Carla and Big Ange. Carla is looking for furniture. Can they have like a marathon of like all the seasons from, from like the beginning and now? Maybe they'll do that towards the end of the show, like after the reunion or something. I don't know. But then Karen and Karina, wow, her father had some really good drawings. I was really shocked. And then um, Lady Boss, um, Big Ange comes in to get some lipstick from Drita's store. And then Drita says she's tired of hearing um, Karen going around talking about her husband, Lee, 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 and yada, yada. And then we go towards the... <laughs> go to where the end of the episode of the art experience during a nude model Carla explained it exactly the way it's supposed to be a friend is someone who is always there for them and when they're down they're supposed to be there to cheer them up and always be there for them through good and bad it's like a marriage sort of in a way and like you're always supposed to be there for your friends and then Aaron had a little too much fun with the nude model <laughs> big Ange. and big Ange had a funny sense of humor and she's probably making all the people up there in heaven laugh. Also, there was a marathon of her show, Big Ange. I actually watched the episode of of it um, right after um, Mob Wives came on last night. Um, I wonder. I was also wondering if they might do it again next week. Big Ange says it feels good to have her husband there to support her. So I jotted down a few um, things might come on next week. Um, next week, Giselle's birthday, the ladies see Angela after her surgery, and I guess Karen has a gallery for, um, her father's drawings. And so I will see you all next week, and I love you all, XOXO Scorpio Simmer, and I will see you all next time. Bye! And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will, and I thank you all for the 500 plus um, views on the last Mob Barbs review. I really appreciate it. And yeah. yeah.